LGBTQ plus DL men, women who secretly love us and support us. Kevin here with a video, and I know I only I don't have a shirt right now. I didn't have on no panties, but um, I ain't gonna show y'all right now. Anyway, um, I wanted. I know that some of y'all are probably looking at the time now. It is uh a quarter after three. And oh, that brings up the topic of uh, it's so it's three twenty five currently according to that talk uh, talk tick tock eh, 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 according to that time over there. And I think it's a great time to um, speak about X and its meaning in uh, relation to Roman numerals. Um, the X, from my understanding of what I've been taught from the past, is that X is the symbolism for uh, 10 and numbers, and 10 is a symbol for completion. Um, it can be a symbol for completion. And um, if you know, uh, Twitter is actually changing, uh, according to Elon Musk, uh, having his post that said uh, that the branding is now going to be, uh, it has a different like logo. So, yeah, that's something. I wondered somewhat why I was seeing the uh, the Blue Jays um, flying. Um, so that could have been a sign for you. But back to the topic of this video. Well, not back to the topic because I haven't spoken about it yet until now. Uh, the topic of this video is uh, the like a vlog of the first day of fasting. So, um, kind of in this video, what we'll be spoken about is what were the reasons in the past that a fast was done and um, the feelings uh, of doing a fast in the past versus now and maybe some changes and some things that can be done differently. So we can get uh, into it. So I'm going to write down um, what I'm going to be speaking about so that way it's like truly known um, the points and stuff that are going to be talked about in the video. So the first thing that we can speak about is the fasting and how it can help with uh, like a detox and like kind of what a fast is. Now, everybody may do a fast differently because there are things like intermittent fasting. Um, some people, when they do a fast, it's uh, for religious beliefs or uh, it can be health, uh, health related fast and things like that. So the first thing that we're speaking about is the detox and um, in the past there was uh, something called the lemonade master cleanse which was first uh, heard of Beyonce doing the lemonade master cleanse and she has the album lemonade um, but uh, there was that so on the old YouTube page you would see that that was already done and on this page, we're speaking about the uh, the benefits from fasting um, and the type of fast that is being done here. Now, the type of fast that is done being done here is actually a water fast. And um, from during the last fast uh, in twenty twenty, there was a, a water fast and. It wasn't a timed fast. It was um, just 
doing it to achieve a goal and I'm going down a list that I had written down so it's kind of going to go by that list of things that are being spoken about so the first thing water fast it is a uh, to detox and to slim down because I noticed that um, I have I have gained weight from being 138 and now I just noticed that I have gained weight which it doesn't look like bad okay like I can show y'all right yeah like it, it doesn't look bad okay so you know, um, now prior to doing the water fast, um, in 2020, I was actually at 242 pounds at that time. And, uh, well, not 2020, uh, it would have been like early in 2019, I reached a weight of 245 or 244 from what I remember. I know for sure it was 244 and that was like the biggest that I had been. I hadn't been that big. And after the water fast, it uh, somewhat became addictive. And that can be seen as an addiction to try to. Um, now, I had a cousin that said uh, that the, the, uh, <laughs> He used the word emaciated. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't that bad, but compared to being two forty four and then um, you know then being one forty eight, that was a drastic difference. That was a um, hundred pound, you know weight loss at that you know from 240 from 248 or 240 yeah like almost 100 pounds so 90 like 94 pounds was the weight loss from you know 244 to 148 either way um, it was also done for, um, many reasons in the past. Uh, mainly the reason was, uh, the weight, the weight, um, being able to hear myself breathe like, <sighs> like, and this isn't to make, uh, mockery of those who are heavier in weight. This is, uh, the journey that was had in the past and being able to speak about it. Now we're going to talk about um, during the fast in 2020, there was also uh, the pandemic of 2020 with uh, the C-19 COVID. Now, during that time, I was prior to uh, the pandemic being popular, I had already started my fasting journey prior to there being, um, lockdowns in 2020 or any of those things. So, uh, I somewhat, uh, was ahead of the journey of prior to people doing fasting and learning about Dr. Sebi and things like that because in the YouTube account prior to this account that's what was being spoken about being uh, vegan uh, veganism plant-based eating and things like that well it was on a video one video so now with a uh, COVID being uh, gone, right? There's still a need to um, be aware of how fasting can be important for the body. And so now we're speaking about um, the other reason 
and this was uh, something that I spoke about in the past YouTube channel, but I'm speaking about it now for the reason that there are people that are on this planet that are in need of a, a person that isn't, um, that doesn't fear speaking about the truth and being open with others about something that they have experienced. And so this is something that also in the past, when it was spoken about, I wouldn't say that it was spoken about in a negative way. It, the way it was spoken about didn't allow others to be able to reveal their truth. It kind of, in some ways, and I just saw the number 444, it somewhat uh, took from others' experience of them being able to uh, speak about their journey. And so in 2013, the doctor diagnosed uh, Crohn's disease. He diagnosed a mass, M-A-S-S. -S. Um, a growth on the anus and that growth is also can be said to be HPV the human papillomavirus and so from the internet the human papillomavirus is also said to be warts and so since it was on the anus it is considered genital warts now being a psychic medium or spiritualist, there is a connection with that experience to another person who was experiencing something similar. And in the past video, when it was spoken about, it was when it was spoken about, it didn't allow that other person to be able to be open with their experience and uh, the sacredness of them being able to speak their truth about what they were experiencing. And there was a realization that uh, it was inconsiderate of the way that they felt. Now, as a awakened um, being, to that experience, I can now show up in this now experience and be honoring of my experience and allow them to honor what they have experienced. So yeah, um, the fast was done to uh, achieve for there are there has been many other people who have heard that Dr. S uh, Dr. Sebi has cured others of disease and um viruses and things like that. Now, with that being said, uh there's a video that Dr. Sebi um, was in where he spoke about how to cure diabetes, the man uh, spoke that he would have to do fasting for 90 days. And during, in the past, trying to achieve that 90 day fast, there were um, family members who became concerned because they they weren't aware of what I was trying to achieve. So, and then with that being said, there were also, there was awareness that was being made from the experience. So we're going to go now to foods and processed foods. 
And then the beginning of the fast, and I keep saying the beginning of the fast because there was a lot of things that we're becoming aware of during during the fast, right? Um, meditating and um, taking cold showers um, was a part of that fast in 2020. And um, there was a there was a spiritualist. I guess you can say spiritualist. Um, not wanting to get people's uh, identifications wrong, but if I do, please be. I guess you can say lenient. I'm not sure of that word. <laughs> um, yeah. So there was uh, Ralph Smart who spoke about uh, processed foods. And when he spoke about processed foods, um, I also realized that um, during that time in 2020, it was very difficult to just eat uh, uh, eat a particular way for the reason that some family members were like, I'm not going to say what what they thought because I'm not them to be able to tell how they felt about the experience, but they just truly kind of didn't understand what the purpose of for the fast was. So with processed foods, you may hear some spiritualists say uh, to not eat it or to not eat as much and um, even processed plant-based foods for the reason that it has chemicals in it and it can cause uh, certain things within the body. And what I noticed is during the fast in the past, when my body was uh, purging uh, the, the, the viruses and the disease and ridding the body of those things, that the warts became active, but not as active. It's like uh, when I started eating the processed uh, plant-based foods, I noticed that I would have uh, small warts. And this was in the year of 2020. So, um, when that started happening, I realized that those, uh, when those small warts were coming, I actually uh, started actively doing things like turmeric, uh, the, like the turmeric paste and things like that. But my body was actually like ridding it by making it active. It was kind of like the last, uh, the last of it being uh the last of it uh arising i guess you can say and so as i was doing that i noticed that after i stopped eating the when i when i stepped away from eating the plant-based meats and things like that especially like the like the hamburger patties that they had made and there's a specific brand that was uh making it like uh be active so when I noticed it, I actually stopped eating it for a while and noticed that there was somewhat like a relief. And I started uh, doing the smoothies and uh, things like that. But that was after, um, and this is to bring up this point, uh, his name is Sadhguru, who in a video spoke about um, doing a three day fast without eating and then eating on uh, the fourth day. And he had spoke about in that video how he, um, what was it? Was it, yeah, he wouldn't eat for three days and then on the fourth day he would eat but he wasn't um he didn't he spoke about not sleeping and um I think he would take like uh 15 minute like naps he didn't sleep he would nap now I'm not sure what his uh what his thing is that he what his um routine is yet what I learned a lot from 
doing that in the past and they think that trying to achieve all of those things um like um fasting um being um like not getting proper sleep cold baths and uh well cold showers and things like that it somewhat had a it was it was difficult to take on all of that at once yet there was a experience of those all of those things that taught a greater a greater um lesson and i wouldn't say to not do it but what i would say is to be aware of what it uh the lesson of doing those things because there was a lot learned from doing all of that yet it is important to be easy on yourself to uh, to make sure that the purpose is beneficial um and also to speak about uh fasting can help with the crown chalk the crown chakra so during the fasting it it uh i saw some information that spoke about it uh decalcifying the third eye so the third eye was uh very open and clairvoyance was um was very um it was magnified it was the spiritual gifts uh were very present during that time and i won't say that they aren't very present now they are very present now you there's just a i heard the word subtle but um what can be said is that it is a experience to experience so if you choose to do a fast uh you know have pure intentions that you know that you're trying to achieve something or something like that um yeah um i also enjoyed the way my body looked um after after the fast and um i was able to fit into a, a to small clothing that I hadn't been able to um, in the past, like um, in 20, I keep saying, um, in 2019 and years before, there was, um, the clothing were extra large and uh, if, if I could fit into a large, that would be great, yet, being able to fit in medium sized clothing and small small clothing that was uh I was very grateful for that now if you have been grown in the south then you are aware of family members um you know they may eat how they have eaten in the past and that includes ham high um, the cornbread, the pig, the some some families eat squirrel, deer. They I've I've heard uh, some country families eat uh, possum, and it doesn't even have to be just country. Just uh, if you have a if you come from a I heard the word lineage or a line of beings who are used to eating a certain way it may be your specific path to uh be the change but not forcing change on others allowing them to gravitate to it as needed um and when i say that i know that uh what is her name because her Tabitha Brown uh, speaks about how she had pain and when she uh, started eating vegan 
that that change and to when I say intention the word intention don't use the word vegan to um, to like hold value over how you enjoy life like plant-based foods and and that's why I say it's, it's all about your intention. If you're doing it to just lose weight, you don't want it to become an unhealthy pattern to um, to have like a a starving uh, a st uh, like you don't want it to be unhealthy. Like and even then, um, when you. Uh, you, when you change your relationship with food and how you consume, it is also about, um, if you've ever heard of the word tantric, knowing that you want it and being able to say, okay, I know that I want that specific food, but I'm not going to eat it right now. And it can be turned, it can be turned into, uh, uh I was going to say, I heard the word, uh, it was starting to turn into the word needy or something like that. Um, uh, the word is right there. It's a different type of fasting where it is uh, from like you choose not to eat at a certain time. And then you, like uh, I probably said it earlier in the video. There it goes. Uh, I had to stop the video and think for a second. It is called intermittent fasting where you... Uh, for a time, um, choose to uh, eat at a certain time or don't eat at a specific time, but it, it's like a routine thing, yeah? So some people do that. Um, what I would give to myself, um, like knowledge about what has already learned where I could tell a younger version of myself or myself at that time is to um it's it's somewhat like a a love some people say love hate relationship to the experience for the reason that it taught so many things by trying to achieve all of those things at once and I, I saw the movie everything everywhere all at once so that may be a sign to whoever the viewer is yet when I was doing all of those things there wasn't like an intention or a purpose besides uh just uh uh you know becoming uh achieving like the body or or losing that weight from 244 pounds yet when that weight was being lost um it wasn't like a directed purpose besides that weight being lost and oh and uh hpv being um uh just non-existent for the reason and the reason that i can say that now in men uh, they actually have to have an act of war to, for it to be tested. And, um, you know, they do have medicines and things like that. Now, I chose the um, holistic way. And when they did screening in the year of 2020, and they did a uh, screening in the year of 2022 for, um, like they did blood screening during uh, the year of 2020 and the year of 2022. Um, the, the results of those tests came back that uh, there was like, everything was like non-reactive, I guess you can say. Is that when it comes, is that the word for like, when it comes back negative? I think it is. Um, so when the screening came back, 
I was told that it came back negative. Um, at least uh, by, by the family members uh, receiving that uh, information. Because they, uh, in the hospital, they they kept saying, well, nothing seems to be wrong with him. So, uh, you know, why is he in here? And the to answer that now is to say that my family members didn't understand what I was experiencing at that time. So them being fearful um, allowed me to become aware that my blood work and my the MRI that they did all came back that I was very healthy. So that is the result of that. Um, so many people may think that when their family, like, if you've ever heard that people can love you so much that they, um, they can love you so much that, uh, I'm pretty sure you, that y'all know the rest of what I'm, what I'm attempting to like say, but love can make people be, uh, love can make people be uh, fearful although it isn't love's intention for people to, to fear it it's, it's love's intention for it to become aligned with it to help others that are also experiencing love in a way that they truly don't understand so um To better say, uh, be forgiving of, of those who don't understand your purpose for doing things, but be able to understand it for yourself and allow it to bring you to a perspective that uh, brings light into your experience. So, yeah. Um, Yeah, um, and I also had to, uh, be aware of how to, to trust that I could achieve the goals that I was wanting to achieve. Um, like when, when during the fast and, and seeing those warts, um, come, come forward and then after oh so that is better to say the warts stopped rising in the year of 20 like the end of 2020 or 2021 and during that time it wasn't like uh just fasting 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 it was more of a, a like Okay, I'm fasting, but I'm understanding spirituality and, you know, experiencing those different things, right? So, um, when uh, th there was a trip to my aunt's job where, at the time, everybody in the, in the vehicles that were going to the job, they would do the thermometer um, check to see if their uh what the temperature was and my temperature was a little uh, was lower than like uh just a little lower than normal at that time in 2020 and they were they were like oh his temperature is really good like it was a uh, almost like i think it was like uh it was close to 97 for the reason that water was just being consumed it was water and it was all alkaline water and now you may hear people say that um, certain brands of alkaline water isn't as good. And I also heard a celebrity speak about how there are, that there are certain experiences of things that just aren't healthy. Like, like many things are unhealthy. Yet, I can speak from my experience and say that, um, uh, although, like, um, uh, Ralph Smart 
and I know I'm kind of going off topic from, not like really off topic, but anyway, Ralph Smart spoke about um, the more alkaline the body is, or it may have been Dr. Sebi, but he also um, learned some things from Dr. Sebi, according to his videos. Dr. Uh, Sebi or Ralph Smart spoke about um, the more alkaline the body is, the faster it can heal itself. And so that began the inspiration to want to try to cure uh, HPV and Crohn's disease because I did speak about Crohn's disease uh, also earlier. In 2013, during that diagnosis, there was no... Uh, I kind of like heard here and there about Dr. Sebi, but I wasn't really aware of Dr. Sebi like that, right? And um, I heard somebody ask about like HPV and what it looks like. It's like a bump, but it's actually on the anus hole, or you can have the inside kind that is actually like um, in the entryway of the anus. And that's the way that mine was. It was just one. And then when they removed it, they tested it to see if it was a small, like to see if that's what it was. And it uh, came back as a wart. And when they removed it, um, they they stitched it up. They, they stitched it up and then um, they didn't, now they have cream for it for the kind that is on the outside, but they actually make a um, salve for the kind that is on the inside. So when um, they, I bought the salve just to uh, be sure that they uh, didn't like reoccur in the past and now they don't, they don't show up. And when the blood work was done, the, it was, uh, it came back as non-existent yet you would know that women have to get pap smeared to see if they have it. And men, it has to be like visible on their actual, um, on the actual area. And so, um, it has been like wart free, wart free, no warts. So, and also I'm being open so that if there was a partner that was interested there, they're not uh, becoming uh, aware of how to, um, they're not uh, coming in to the experience of getting to know me with uh, there being like a, a non-awareness to that, okay? And um, yeah, so um, and how you can get them is a uh, body to body contact. Now, I do want to add this that I spoke about, I'm sure that I spoke about in a video on the old uh, YouTube page about, um, there was a wart that appeared like here or somewhere. And I was, I was wondering, why it would be called genital if they were able to show up there. Cause you know, um, some people get them on their hands and things like that, but it didn't show up on my hands. It showed up back there and it would be the same color of your skin. It's different from a mole yet or a tag, but it would look like a tag. It would just be the same color as your skin. And it, uh, the top of it would look like a cauliflower. And the kind that I had was small. So when I got the, like a little tag, like a tag remover and the rubber band, um, after it tightened around it, it just uh, popped off. And I was wondering uh, what it was considered to be called. So anyway, after that, um, my health journey and reasoning for fasting kind of like surrounded that experience of warts um, or HPV, Crohn's disease, irritable bowel syndrome, uh, ulcerative colitis. And when I started to lose weight and I started to flush out all of those 
uh, experiences, right? The body naturally cured itself and now um, there, aren't ex there aren't those experiences like present. Now, something that can be said is that in prison, which I may have spoken about this in another video, but just in case it wasn't spoken about, it's going to be spoken about in this video. Um, there were many times prior to the prison experience in 2020 and 2021 where the fasting had been done and done and done and done. And then there was this realization that it had become like an unhealthy pattern at that point. So during the prison visit in 2021, they had uh, bologna sandwiches. And I might do a video on the type of food that they had after I do this fast. And I'm going to uh, speak about that. I might be might be doing a video that uh, to show y'all the type of food that they had. Um, but I was, uh, I spoke about like, if I ever had to eat meat, I, uh, I thought that, you know, I would regurgitate. And so that's what happened in prison when they had a bologna sandwich and something said, um, not to, not to eat that, eat that, uh, bologna sandwich. But, um, you know, when you're disobedient, <laughs> It can it can get you. So um, I didn't want to don't don't get me no. Um, when they had the bologna sandwiches, the bologna sandwich didn't agree with my stomach. It got the bologna sandwich got me, and so um, I regurgitated. And then later on, um, I noticed that there was blood in the stool. And I'm sorry that I didn't even. Well, maybe I can give y'all a warning, but <laughs> if not, sorry. Uh, there was, um, blood in the stool and the nurse didn't come to, to check. Um, by the way, in that, um, that prison experience of 2021, they, uh, they, I was in the, what they call it, the maximum security unit where they also have, um, people there who, uh, maybe experiencing something health related. Um, so there was blood in the stool and the nurse just kept like, they just walked by, like they didn't really care. It's, you can definitely tell that their job was more related to it being um, for a check. So um, eating meat, the way my body reacted to it was uh, like, that ex uh that experience to going back to just eating um all meat had a effect that um on my body and what i realized is uh realizes that um those things were just uh like the Crohn's disease and stuff as long as i really truly became aware of uh, plant-based eating and stick to that type of diet that like a um, that healthy way of eating that healthy diet it uh, seen that my body had a very uh, positive experience in terms of health Um, yeah, so I kind of, um, it also, w in terms of when I spoke about allowing that health journey to not become a negative journey in terms of when water was just being, uh, consumed consistently there was also like this want for the urine to be like clear and I've heard that having really really clear urine is not uh is not a healthy objective yet 
for my personal experience, I noticed uh, great benefits of my urine being like a very uh, high, um, like a high yellow experience. So I wouldn't say to not do it. I would just say, um, allow your experience to teach you what works best for your experience. Um, there were things like, oh, also to speak about, um, prior to having, uh, prior to having the fast, I was, uh, I also had boils or super rativas, whatever it's called. Um, it almost sounds like sativa. <laughs> Get, um, and that's also, that can also be a fast, uh, fasting from marijuana and uh drinking alcohol and things like that now and i can speak about that in another video or i might speak about it here um and i i also during those those that water fast in the past i also just uh i had stopped drinking alcoholic beverages and smoking marijuana and so all of trying like doing all of that and just um at a single time it was a it was a big uh change in um going from a person that ate meat smoked weed drink liquor um had Crohn's disease, had warts, uh, had boils. And then to, for those, for that to, and not to be at, at that point, at that time, you know, prior to 2019, I hadn't been very like spiritual. I had uh, been aware of religion, but I, I wasn't uh, tuned in in the years of before 2019. I was somewhat getting there like there were signs from the universe so i won't say that i wasn't directly not tuned in i was tuned in i just had no awareness of that experience that i was receiving from the divine yet so um yeah at 2020 there was uh fasting with water um at that time, there was a claim on veganism. There, uh, um, stop smoking marijuana, stop smoking, uh, stop drinking liquor. And there were so, so many benefits from that. But I would always tell, oh, I would always allow a person to, when I said tell, I would always allow a person to have the experience and allow it to teach them so it's not this video isn't intended to say oh you need to fast and da 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 it is a it is a um and this is why i'm just very um aware of what is said right Allow it to be your journey so that you can truly understand your experience and truly um, receive the the like the knowledge behind it because it's like you know how people read a book and when they read the book they they're reading it, but they're, they may not be retaining the knowledge. It can be pertained. It can be like, um, I guess seen the same way and in, in ways of intention for something, because if you're experiencing something, but you just, you're just like going through it, but not retaining the knowledge for it, then what did you truly get from the experience? So that's why I can I would allow some somebody or even the word allow 
but allowing others to experience it and gain something from their personal experience. So I do have some water that's being delivered by the grocery store. I was uh, first going to walk to the grocery store, then I decided not to um, for personal reasons. And um, yeah, I also was going to add to this video about uh, body image and we can uh, then like close this video after we speak about that. The, the video will be closed with we're speaking about body image and things like that and fasting. And so I'm going to make sure that the groceries or yeah, the groceries arrive and then we will come back with the rest of the video. I also forgot to mention that, um, well, I guess I didn't forget to mention it because I'm mentioning it now. There's also times that I realized that uh, during my fasting, when there was something that was bothering me in my experience of life that food was like the escape like to escape those feelings that uh, were needing to be experienced there was a um, like a going to food as like comfort instead of allowing myself to feel the feelings that I was feeling. So I realized in, I realized that I had to have a different relationship with food. And that also helped um, with remembering uh, or being able to continue being on the path of fasting. So, yeah. Alright, so I'm going to show you the uh, water that was delivered. And, um, yeah. Uh, I have, um, I have some more, but, um, anyway. This was purchased from Amazon, actually. It's, a uh, yeah, it's a alkaline of 9.5. And then the grocery store delivered these. And yeah. Um Yeah. So I um also saw that there was a place um, close, uh, close to North Carolina, or it's actually is North Carolina that has like a natural spring that people actually go to fill up their water bottles. So it's kind of been like, um, been thinking about, um, actually being able to visit one of those natural springs and being able to drink the water that way. Um, there's been talk on the internet about people saying that, uh certain brands and them using a uh alkalinizer um and uh things like that yet the benefits that i have received from drinking alkaline water has been uh very beneficial and i did speak to a family member about the brand that uh those people were talking about and how I realized that drinking that particular brand, um, it gave me like a hydrated co uh, uh, cotton mouth. And I almost said the word, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, anyway, if you heard it, you heard it. Um, I realized that drinking that particular brand, there was like this, uh, um, hydrated coffin uh cough uh keep saying keep saying the word coffin 
yeah so maybe that water just isn't a good brand but i meant to say cotton um it, it was like a hydrated dry mouth almost drinking that water but uh i realized that these brands of water are really um they've been helpful especially um the the brands that are like higher in ph so um yeah those are the brands that I use and now we're going to speak about uh body image and some things i noticed that at the fast uh not even just body image but uh some health things that i noticed with my body and i can start by uh saying like dark spots like you may notice like the the uh hair bumps and things like that i noticed that when i um was on a like fast and um eating very uh plant-based foods very healthy um and things like that i noticed that the dark spots on like where where my hair grows and things it was uh they started to started to lighten up um my what they call this thing right here they call it uh, adam's apple it was very visible in um some pictures that i seen from um when i had was very uh was skinnier than what is now um i may post i may show some of the videos while i'm um showing here and um i noticed that i know you can kind of like see the the like indentions or whatever like almost like getting like some abs, you know what I'm saying? But um, <sighs> but um, no normally it's like this, right? This is like me, me not sucking anything in, you know. It's giving. <laughs> Many people say like the word um, what do they call it? They call it uh in the legit squad community. They they call it uh. They call it something. But anyway, um, also uh, some things that I noticed, like, uh, especially with, like, um, ingrown hairs and things like that, I noticed that uh, there were a lot less of that um, eating um, certain vegetables had my hair, like, growing very, like, fast. Um so, um, I noticed that my hair, uh, grew fast, very fast. Yeah, and, um, getting less than a little back, some little back weight, and that... I noticed that I, uh, when I was thinner, you know, just didn't have like all the extra weight. And then, um, uh, oh, now something that I did not, I'm not going to say I did. I just, when I, um, did the, the fast, I noticed that my butt went, you know, it went, it went like big, but it went like small, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if you can. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, granted, it's like from the side, it ain't like no, no beak. You know what I'm saying? It ain't no beak. You know what I'm saying? But, um, <laughs> I know some of y'all like going to see. But anyway, like, Nicki Minaj was in that video. Stop taking photos. <laughs> um, yeah, I noticed that, um, it was like it was like pancakes <laughs> like it was just it was really small but um you know like lose weight and uh some other things that i noticed what were some other things that i like body image i realized is that now, uh, people have this thing where they try to be, be, 
an image that is like perceived as attainable. Like to have an image and I'm noted that perception to other people is I've heard spiritualists say that it is not your business how others perceive you as a being. So with that being said, in connection to body image is that your body may appear as something um, to, to some people as attractive and it may appear to others as something that is not yet when we were speaking about purpose and intention of fasting, it is to achieve that goal of why you are um, wanting to fast, right? So with there being some people that have nice abs and um, beautiful, bodies, right? And to think about to think about fasting when I when I did it before, I was um when I did it before the way that my body appeared to family members who had seen me uh being bigger in weight and having, you know, bigger assets. <laughs> to then be at a weight of 138, it, um, it was, I'm not sure what to label it because it was their perception of me. And that's not, like I said, the way other people perceive you is not your business. So being, that weight, I enjoyed it, but then I noticed that my butt was smaller. I had to, I had to, um, to twerk, you know what I'm saying? To twerk. It was, it takes a lot to, to be, the small booties matter, okay? Because when I, the athletic fans in that small booty there, y'all better support, okay? Support, support small booties. Support the big booties too. All right, but um, body image is important when those beings are promoting something that is in that line of work or what they're promoting. Like, for instance, when a... Uh, What they call those people that work out, uh, not like a bodybuilder, but like a personal trainer, yeah, that focuses on being the image of a trainer. They have, they are showing their body so that they can promote that line of work or that business. And so, with fasting, the fasting is done to promote uh, health and wealth and. Um, generational wealth and love and being able to live abundantly and not saying that that isn't possible when you are bigger and this is what I've, I've uh, spoke to people recently is that there are some people that that's uh, indulge in smoking cigarettes smoking um, marijuana drinking liquor and uh, doing other things that can be considered unhealthy, yet they outlive some people that are very healthy. And so when you think about all of those things together, you have to become aware of what is working for you how um, being healthy 
is healthy for you. Like the, the healthy choices that you choose to make, how are they healthy for you? And when I say that, it is in relation to like things like um, I thought about uh, uh, when I was speaking earlier about plant-based uh, meats and things like that when you are able to grind it in a blender and make it fresh it can be healthier so it's not that plant-based meats are you know are said to be not good it's about how they are prepared also because if you can find a healthier way to achieve eating plant-based meats it can be beneficial because some people make um like the cauliflower wings actually it's like fresh freshly fresh produce but now there are those messages online that speak about um some sources of food having chemicals used to grow them and things like that so when I was speaking earlier in the video about uh, how there was a celebrity that spoke about spoke about how there is something unhealthy in the ex experience of what they were seeing being consumed, that's what that was being um, related to. And I had a thought and it was just there and I... Uh, yeah, to also better that, con uh, like, when you consume things, it's not always just about uh, being aware of the food you consume. It's also being aware of the things that you consume spiritually. When the journey started, and this is, I spoke earlier about ending on body image, right? This has to be... Uh, this has to be spoken about. So after this, this uh, will be kind of like the closing of the video. There are some spiritualists that were followed. Um, that truly helped kind of... Um, uh, sculpt the spiritual experience and some of those um, beings that truly helped me to understand spirituality were Eckhart Tolle um, Ralph Smart Esther Hicks uh, Joe Dispenza and there are some others that I'm seeing the images of their faces but I may not just uh, know their name uh, from the crown right yet when I see them I'm I am aware of their uh, contribution to the to spirituality and their teachings from spirituality and what I've become aware of is that when you are trying to, in the beginning, consume uh, all of that information at once, it's not, it's not a bad thing, but it's about um, being able to become aware of the, what you're, what you're actually gaining from just video after video after video with, your, with the knowledge that you're gaining. So um, maybe um, that is enough that I've been I've been getting messages that that is enough but uh, body image love your body love uh, who you are so that other people don't have to tell you how to love you. 
So I'm very grateful to all of the beings who are continuing to watch the videos. And until we do another.